Good, 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 good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Shalom, aloha, salam alaikum, grand rising and grand rising, and we are rising to the top. Family, how y'all doing? I think there's hair in my eye. I hope each and every one of you is doing great. Take good care of yourself. Take some time for yourself. You deserve a break. Um, today's video is going to be very simple. I've talked about it before. However, sometimes, you know, you change the words, you rephrase it just in case um, it's new, somebody's new, it's the first time somebody's hearing it. And again, ground rising, we are always going to rise up to the top. So today we're going to talk about lemurans. Lemurans. Um, you might be wondering what is lemurans. Lemurans is an involuntary state of romantic f uh, fluctuation. It's a state whereby you fantasize about another person. Um, obsessive thoughts, lustful thoughts. Um, these are emotions that you're going to come across as you start your your spiritual journey as you start your healing journey um in our world in in this world computerized world this matrix world a lot of people which sometimes i get a little upset when i hear or i see people say oh she's if a female can't get over a guy and you hear oh she's excuse my french i know we all adults here you hear some like, oh, she's digmatized, dick. You know, if you don't know dick, dick is another way or another form of saying penis. Okay, so you hear, oh, yeah, she's digmatized, she's digmatized. And I ask, I say, what if the person is a lesbian and they're not having sex with a male? What do you say if it's a lesbian and the other person is obsessive? or obsession or lustful over the other person, what do you say? Are you going to say they, they ligmatize or they fingmatize or they strapmatize, you know, could they use strap on, or they deldomatize? You see, that don't make any sense, right? So in spirituality, we, we refer to that, we refer to lemurans as um, soul tie. It's called soul tie. There's no such thing as she's digmatized. And I also tell my friends, I say, what if a male, what if a man can't get enough of princess? Does that make that man um, vagina ties, pussy ties? And when I say stuff like that, my friends always laugh. And I said, no, to every reaction, there is an action. Okay? To every reaction, there was an action. And most people don't think like that. When you get to that phase, you need to do a lot of healing. You have to do a lot of digging. It's um, it's a negative energy. It's a dark energy. Um, religious people might say the devil, Satan, Lucifer. That is the same thing. Negative energy, dark energy. Um, you know, there's white witchcraft and there's dark witchcraft. Dark witchcraft is the same thing as saying Lucifer, evil. These are no such thing as there are no such thing as stigmatize or pussy ties it's called soul ties you left the person you are broken up or you left the job you don't work there no more but for whatever reason you keep picturing you keep living in your head thinking that you're still with this person you're fantasizing about this person you're lasting about this person you have a whole life plan in your head about this person that is soul tie and you have to go deep, deep within in and ask yourself. Because when I talk about healing, I can talk about healing every day. If you're not ready to heal, it's not going to work. It ain't going to work. There's a saying that when the student is ready, the master will appear. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. You have to be ready. You have to go down and say, you know what, I am so tired of thinking about this person over and over. It's draining, it is draining. Until you reach that point where you feel like, okay, I'm tired, uh, it's draining me, it's, it's stressing me out. No matter what we say, no amount of videos you, you, you watch or look will convince you to change. Until 
you reach that level where you feel drained, you can't sleep, you're stressed out, that's when you learn to go within and release that energy. That's how healing starts. That's what healing is about. You release that energy. So yes, there's no such thing as somebody's pussy digmatized or pussymatized. No, it's all soul ties. You still, see this is the thing. When you lay with a person, right? Let's say this is a male, this is a female, or these are two individuals, right? You are spirits living in a body. You watching me, you picking up energies from me. Me reading your comments, I'm picking up energy from your comments. If it's negative energy, I know how to block it. If it's positive energy, I know how to receive it. It's the same thing as walking on the street. It's the same thing as listening to music, watching movies. You're always exchanging energy. Now, you don't know who I've laid with. When me and you get into a relationship and I haven't done any type of cleansing, no, 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 no sexual test, I haven't done no STD test, nothing, you got to remember. The moment you lay with me, you've picking up on all those energies. If I'm your woman and I cheat on you, and you're not stepping out in the marriage, in the relationship, and I'm stepping out, I want you to know that all the energies that I'm bringing from outside, the moment you lay with me, I transfer it to you. So sometimes soul ties isn't necessarily somebody that you've known, you've been in a relationship with. It could be the energy you are attracting, and it's effing with your subconscious. Okay, so it's called soul tie. You have to go within and break that soul tie. And I know you might be thinking, what if I haven't done anything with this person? Maybe somebody cheated and, you know, like I said, you lay with a person, you pick up on the energy and that's why you're going through what you're going through. You have to go within. It's a subconscious mind. It will tell you. If everything is inside of you, you are a mini version of God. Okay, so yes, everything is, is so tight. You have to let go. Some people say cut the cord. You have to release that energy to free yourself. All right, thank you for watching. And you have to be very careful with the people we come in contact with. Even as a Reiki master, when I work on a client, whether it's in person or over the phone, I have to cleanse. When I go to a, to a party or a boat ride or somewhere, and I have fun when I get home, I take my clothes off. Even if I don't take a bath, I will just rinse my body. These are some of the things that we have to do and pray. Okay, your prayer doesn't have to be something too long. It can literally be thank you for bringing me home. Thank you for protecting me. It could be simple as thank you. It's all about gratitude, okay? So we have to do better. We have to be mindful. We have to heal. We have to let go of what is dragging us down. So again, it is called so tight. People don't want to heal, and they use that as an excuse. Like, oh, she's digmatized. Oh, she, the, the pum pum is so good. That's why he can't let go. It's never that. It's the soul. So tired. That's why in the, in, in, I think in the scripture or um, in marriage, they say when, when two people come together and they get married, they become one. Because your soul and my soul, when we lay together, we exchange it. You pick my, I pick yours. So we have to be mindful. One love and give yourself a hug. You deserve it. By the way, it's early morning. It's Sunday morning. Thank you for watching.